All right, everybody. So welcome to the Living Better podcast. Um, hi, I'm Matt, Matt Dupuy, ex-military, ex-correctional officer with a lot of uh, work experience, a lot of life experience, and a lot of tips and tricks on health to give you. So basically, this podcast will be a new podcast. It's going to be free. It's always going to be free. It's going to be on YouTube. We're going to put it online. And I'm starting this with my wife. So the whole goal of this is going to be to help people uh, to a better life and happiness. We want to be able to help uh, people in their day-to-day life. Uh, we're going to schedule interviews with people. We're going to be giving tips. We're going to talk about our own personal experience. And we're going to exchange with people. And I'm sure this podcast is going to go very far uh it's starting off like this as a small project but we're gonna work hard to improve it make it better and uh, hopefully we'll go from there so today guys uh as our first episode i want to talk to you about something that's very important that i learned along uh, the road uh, one thing that most people won't be surprised to hear but they know that it's very important and it's sleep you gotta sleep And, you know, if you want to be more efficient during your day-to-day life, you want to be more efficient uh, at work, more efficient in your relationship with your kids, with your friends, family, and uh, your workouts or whatnot, you got to sleep. And I know that myself included today in this uh, crazy, you know, era we're living in, I consume caffeine, one cough in the morning, one in the afternoon, sometimes even one at night, and that's very bad because we're always uh, pumped up, we're always stimulating ourselves, and we have a hard time winding down. And it's been uh, studied that a lot of people sleep less and less, and uh, maybe the norm I think now is five hours a night, which is way too little, it should be about eight. So for this first episode, what I want to do is I want to share with you my tips and tricks and uh, what I learned along the line during my life to uh, improve my sleep and uh, this is not sponsored this is not supplements or things that people are paying me for I'm just sharing with you my own personal life and hopefully you can go from there so the first thing that is very important that you guys should know is obviously you need a good mattress that's basic stuff But you should have a cool, dark room. So basically, uh, you know, the way our body is designed, and that's just genetics, is that if we go way, 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 way back, um, when the sun would rise, the temperature would rise up, and then your body would become awake. And the two stimulus that would sort of wake you up would be um, the, the sunlight, direct sunlight on your eyes, your pupils pupils whatever sorry i'm french but um yeah that would stimulate your body to wake up and the other thing would be the change in temperature so basically if you want to sleep better at night you got to simulate nighttime um, by cooling down the temperature of your bedroom and by blocking the light any light so how do you do that well one big no-no is that all our phones uh phones, tablets, TVs, like this, they emit blue light. So if you're going to be using these prior to bed, um, you can get glasses. Uh, myself, I got prescription glasses that have a blue light protection inside. So basically all the rays that comes from this device, TV or whatnot, um, they don't affect my eyes. But this is not a good tip. The best tip would be to actually avoid an hour before any sort of electronic device. Uh, that would uh, it, like allow you to start winding down now <clears throat> if you can buy blackout curtains they're not you know they're they can be expensive but they're practical because they do block the sunlight and uh, allows your room to be a lot darker uh, that will be a good idea now the other thing that you can buy it's actually cheap is this it's a sleep mask so basically this thing you put around your face and It's gonna block the whole uh, the whole light from coming in, so it's very useful. Um, everything I'm talking about today, I'm gonna put in links at the bottom bottom of the channel, so you'll be able to search it. And you don't need to buy the exact 
link that I'm going to show you. Those are just examples and things that I know work that are very good. Um, so there's going to be a sleep mask. Obviously, there's tons of sleep mask out there. Um, it's personal preference. I don't know exactly what you like, but I do really like this one. Uh, it's made by Fresh Me. So I got this on Amazon. It's actually really good and it really does block the light very well. Now, <clears throat> we talk a bit about supplements. There's this one here from Op, uh, OP, OP Pharmaceuticals. The supplement's called Optisum. And it has tons of ingredients to help you sleep. Um, one of them being melatonin, which is an ingredient by itself. So if you get melatonin pills at the, the pharmacy, they can help you fall asleep. But this one's packed with a lot of good stuff. And, uh, you know, it'd be, it, it's definitely a great one. So if you want to check it out, uh, Optisum by OP, very good. Magnesium. Magnesium is responsible for something like 700 chemical reaction in your body. And one of the things that it does is it winds you down. It's a very good supplement to relax. Um, there's all sort of magnesium out there. This is magnesium citrate. Uh, there's tons of different ones it doesn't really matter if you can get your hands on a good magnesium supplement go for it uh, they're very good for you and they'll help you fall asleep so so that's that now uh, another thing um, that me and my wife invested in that was uh, quite costly but definitely worth it and it was a life-changing it was really it really changed our sleep because we work uh the shift shift schedule we do shift work so we work during the day to work at night so our sleep cycle is already messed up so we the reason i'm talking about sleep is because myself i had to really improve the way i sleep and i had to find tricks and stuff to make it better so <clears throat> to resume sleep mask uh cold bedroom or colder bedroom if you can turn down uh, the thermostat at night uh that would be very good but obviously me, I'm always very hot. My wife is always cold. So we had a lot of problems with that. So what they got on the market now is they have two things. So for Canadians, there's a company called Perfect Sleep Pad. So what they do is they sell a pad that you put on top of your mattress. And that pad has, um, there's different size, obviously king, queen, whatever your bed size is. But it has two machines and those machines regulates the core temperature of the mattress on top of that that pad and you can actually with a remote or even manually dial it down to whatever you want so me uh, i dialed that dial it down to about 14 degrees celsius and i my wife sleeps at about 18 or whatnot 18 19 depends on temperature but it's been studied that to, to fall asleep and to have good sleep you have to have a body at about 19 degrees celsius or less or whatnot um, so basically what you want to do is you experiment with it and find your comfortable temperature so what it does is that it's run by water inside the machine circulates through a tubing inside the um, inside the, the mattress and uh, it's going to exchange with your body temperature to always either recirculate the water and cool it down or warm it up so you're always at the right temperature and what that really do, did for us is I used to sweat a lot at night. I would sweat. My mattress would be soaked. My wife would be cold. Uh, we couldn't figure out temperature, uh, the right temperature for both of us. And this has been a game changer. It's amazing. Uh, it cost us $1,000 Canadian. Um, what that was with the company called Perfect Sleep Pad. They had one that, like, I, think, I think they have one in the United States. It's called the Chili Pad which is the same concept, same thing. It's a pillow top um, mattress, very thin, with tubing, circulates water, and uh, that would, you know, uh, be a life changer because it was for us. And uh, you'll be able to regulate your temperature, no more night sweats, uh, no more change of temperature, waking up cold or, you know, falling asleep hot and then waking up cold or vice versa. It really regulates your temperature. You're able to find your sweet spot by experimenting and um, eventually you'll get to have your perfect temperature. So yeah, it's a uh, it's $1,000, but that's what lets one, one trip down south. So, you know, if the two of you, if you're two, if you're a couple or whatnot, um, it really has two zones. So it regulates one side independently from the other. 
um, amazing product. I couldn't recommend anything uh, better than that. Seriously, all those those things, the mass supplements and whatnot, they're really good, but the mattress was a total game changer. And um, yeah, so check it out. I'll put the links down there for both. Um, you know, you can you can see if it fits your budget or save save up for it. But that's definitely something I would invest in and you're gonna have the most amazing sleep you ever had and uh, you're gonna thank me later for it. And I, <laughs> it's a funny story because I remember that when I bought that, I bought it myself, I told my wife, hey, I'm gonna buy a new thing, you know. It's like, oh yeah, what is it? So I explained a bit and she, she wasn't too keen on it. She's like, eh, whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and then I told her it was a thousand bucks. She she almost killed me, and now she she can't sleep without it. Uh, it's it was one of the best investment we ever did. So yeah, uh, cooling mattress pad, um, really amazing. Another thing that's very good is um, it's made by Yogi. It's a tea. So they have a bedtime caramel tea, which is I don't know what's in there, but it's actually really amazing, and it helps you wind down and fall asleep. So that's very good. Um, another thing nowadays that's big and came out is CBD. If they have CBD oil, you can smoke uh, weed that has CBD in it. Uh, obviously, always check with your local health provider so uh, that you follow the law uh, in regards to that. If you're prescribed or whatnot. In Canada, it recently got legalized, so people are able to buy all sort of different type of weed at the dispensary. Um, I wouldn't recommend weed per se because for certain people it can trigger mental illnesses. So because of the THC, it does affect their cells in your brain. So I wouldn't recommend that. But definitely CBD oil has made a big difference for me and my wife. Um, it's really amazing and helps to wind down and sleep. So yeah, so those are good ones. Um, like I said, um, sleep is all about, you know, if you can establish a regular schedule, Go for it. If you can go to bed at the same time every night and wake up at the same time, perfect. If you're a shift worker like me, um, you know, uh, you, you'll have to you'll have to figure out tools and tricks to, to sleep. And those are all tricks that I'm sharing with you because they do work. They're amazing. They made a difference for me. And um, yeah, so please check out the links. I'm going to put the links down there. And uh, this podcast, like I said, is new. Uh, decided to start it tonight. Um, my wife's out. But uh, yeah, so I'm starting a podcast, the first little episode with sleep tips. So please follow us and we're going to come back with a lot of good content. We're going to schedule interviews. We're going to have important people on our podcast. We're going to talk about relationship, health, sex, um, finances, uh, balancing out your life, mental illnesses, uh, cancer and uh, depression, all sort of things that, you know, might help you or help someone, you know. So please follow us. And uh, this is just a short, sweet first episode that I'm doing on my own. But uh, we'll come back for more. And I can't wait to uh, introduce you to my lovely wife. Uh, Jody, so uh, we'll talk about all sort of stuff and I'm sure you're gonna love it because this is something that most people can relate to and it's gonna be very helpful in your life. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot guys. Check it out. That's it for tonight. I'm out. So um, living better podcast, follow it. We're starting it tonight and we'll build from here. So bear with me. It's gonna get better and better and better. But uh, this is a first episode. So, you know, it is what it is. Ciao, guys.